Farming is one of the world's oldest professions, dating back to when manual tools were the only option for growing and harvesting the world's food. In 2024, global precision agriculture has ballooned into a $43 billion market. DigiKey presents Farm Different, where we explore how technology is elevating the art of farming with sustainable and automated solutions, powered by analog devices, amphenol, and supply frame. By 2050, current estimates show that global food consumption will grow by 70%. How will farmers increase production to meet the world's needs? On a 2,000 acre organic farm in Central California, this $1.2 million machine does the work of 30 people 24 hours a day. They're testing out this robotic strawberry picker. It delicately picks the fruit without bruising it. AI is spreading through farming. There's the broccoli bot built by Oregon college students to harvest the vegetable. And John Deere has been plowing ahead with several kinds of AI technology. So is this as fast as a human right now? This machine commercialized will replace the 30 people that you saw in the field earlier today with Gary. In this episode, we sit down with both electronic industry professionals and farmers alike to discover the opportunities and challenges that exist when integrating new forms of technology across the modern farm. The Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas is a showcase for upcoming technology in all forms. We visited the John Deere booth on the show floor for a hands-on experience with what's next in ag tech. Really what enables this type of full autonomy is a couple things. We're using a six sets of stereo cameras to really safeguard the machine. So we're continually monitoring for uh, large objects, uh, humans and vehicles, all the things that could really happen uh, as we operate without a person in the cab, so to speak. In addition, we use GPS and guidance to really create the work plan and execute that plan based on what the customer really needs to have happen. So you can think about this as a robot behind the tractor that's doing productive work. As the customer really generates this plan for the vehicle and deploys it to the field, they can then step away and manage that entire system or that entire job all from their mobile device. Anything a tractor does on the farm, whether that's planting, helping harvest crops, things of that nature, we really want to make fully autonomous by 2030. Zeno Galchev from Analog Devices explains how improved sensor technology translates to more precise results for today's farmers. You have an electronic system interfacing or interacting with the physical world. Sensors make that interaction possible. In agriculture, these sensors help position the vehicle, determine its condition and mechanical state. They can help with the safety and comfort of any passengers riding in the vehicle. Sensors can help detect moisture and soil nutrient levels, sunlight, all kinds of applications that improve the efficiency of agriculture, but also do it more sustainably. DigiKey is an invaluable partner in the ecosystem in the sense that they democratize the access to our technology, they educate the users, they provide the information that they need, they shore up the supply chain and you know, give them easy access to our technology. So in that sense, I think DigiKey is an invaluable partner in the ecosystem. Jenna Johnsrud, Senior Manager of Marketing at DigiKey, offers her own unique perspective as an industry professional with experience living on a farm. My family roots go back to farming and agriculture. It's a huge part of our community. It's been a part of our culture. A small grain farmer uses GPS to be able to be extremely precise about not doing any overlap or overplanting. Same thing applies when they're spraying for plant diseases and then go back in and spot spray versus having to spray the entire field. If they can drop less seed into the ground through GPS technology, then they will do that because that would actually save them money. The challenge is the scalability. A small grain farmer is farming two to 3,000 acres of land. How do they do that with an electric vehicle? How do you get the battery to last long enough? How do you get the power to do things at scale like that? There's a lot of opportunity out there where there's a lot of farmers and growers that aren't doing this kind of stuff yet. The art of farming has evolved to incorporate all manners of technology in today's modern world. But ultimately, it still relies on the farmers themselves to adopt and leverage these innovations. With the future quickly approaching, 
now is the time to farm different.